Hi everyone, a uh, new video because uh, I've got something to show you and hope you don't mind my ugly head's going to be part of the videos these days. Some, it'll be If it's in the way, I can get rid of it kind of thing, but um, uh, generally it's going to be up there in the corner, so hope you don't mind. Uh, get used to it. Um, okay, today I'm showing the Tech 1G. Uh, this is the new Signature Edition. Uh, this one actually I built up to test, uh, worked really well, and it's actually going to be going to um, one of the users that... <laughs> didn't want to spend the four hours soldering. So he gave me an opportunity to do some instructional videos. I'll, they'll be coming out shortly as well, TM. Um, and uh, so people have some instructions on how to build them. But the other things that I'm showing as well, two other things today. So I'm obviously going to show the 8x8 because there's some rumblings by uh, Brian Cheer uh, of some new games coming out that make use of the 8x8, which is really awesome. Um, and so I'm going to demonstrate those ones. I also want to show you the power of the FRAM uh, as well, which works really well. And also on the back of it, I've got two lithium batteries in a kind of USB, uh, USB-C powered. So you can stick your USB port in there. Um, so it acts like a UPS. So you can have it plugged in there and it's powering the thing all the time or it's charging it. You can unplug it and walk away. So there's no power cords attached to this as well, at all kind of thing but i'll show it to you at the end how i can charge it up but um so far i've had this running without the 8 by 8s um fully lit up with the fully sick uh let me just light that up for you uh with the fully sick leds and everything running and i've had it running on a full charge for six hours so i was really impressed with that so um plenty of juice there um to even be powering as you'll see even the 8 by 8 so um, I'll just line these up now as you can see with the 8 by 8s you can they can actually I'll show you later um, but you can actually disconnect them and they just this is the only one that's actually connected to the actually I'll do it now uh, no I won't um, that's the only one that's actually connected to the tech via that uh, connector port um, this means that I can I can actually plug it in from the middle kind of thing so this one could be the one that's connected there and have them but they're offset but that wouldn't work for the video um so uh you can of course not include that it's just that these are various stages of the build these are my prototypes actually uh like the second or third one and finally the fourth one got got it right so that's the eight by eight modules and i'll show you a close up um at, at later after the demo um but yeah at the moment totally running on batteries and now when i've turned it off it's not doesn't back up your battery, uh, your your RAM, you know, programs. If you turn it off, you lose everything, and you can see that there's just random rubbish down there, kind of thing. That's the power of the FRAM. I can say function A, which is uh, restore. Function B is for backup. Comes up with these random numbers. I don't know why. We have to talk, uh, Brian. Uh, but that I know I saved that. That starts at eight thousand. Uh, I don't know how much of the code there is, but I'll just put it close to the end, and I want it down at 4,000, hit go, and you can see that that's all changed now, so that's all the, the code, so if I click on go, there's my menu, it comes up, a demo cart menu, and shows all, it's for all to do with the 8x8, so um, if I, now, why would I have three of them, how, do that, how does that work, well, obviously, if I just hit, um, if I hit go on the, one of them, there's the vertical bar, backwards and forwards kind of thing but literally um, in software because there's four ports going to that one for the horizontal and three can be for the vertical rows kind of thing so just with the uh, touch of a key I can have two of them going or I can have all three of them going like so so that's you know what it means that you could have like a, a side scrolling spaceship game or a something I don't know no, I'm not the genius of uh, making up games but I'm sure you guys will come up with ideas so you know I'll just go through some of the demos there's the horizontal these are all old demos that um now check out this this is like all lit up doesn't affect the running and I've got the fully sick keys on and everything so those batteries can really pump out power when you need them kind of thing so they I'm really really impressed with them and the thing is that they're really cheap. You can get them on AliExpress. I'll put up some links. The batteries are like five or five dollars each, ten dollars each, something like that. And the actual UPS—that's what I'm going to call it—the UPS, USB-C chargeable UPS thing. I think you can get them for between, again between five and ten dollars. So, you know, for a total of 
between $15 and $30, depending on shipping and where you are and all this kind of stuff, um, you can have a completely portable tech one. So how awesome is that? Um, so that's the Blinky one. So we saw the Blinky one. Yep. There you go. You should be able to see that. Yep. Uh, there's the fan ones. Okay. So, so far, all of them have been uh, yeah, copying all the same. You know, they've always been the same. But here, just in that demo there, you can see that you can control individually uh, each you know, kind of uh, LE, um, 8 by 8 module kind of thing. So um, you can, obviously, depending on how good a programmer you are, you can do, you know, all kinds of things, you know, for three of them. Um, and then lastly, there's some lines for you so that they're all kind of random kind of things. So, um, okay. Oh, and lastly, uh, here's some, here, this is cute, I thought. Yeah, that's some, just some bars. And then here's the tech. 1G, there you go. And I can scroll backwards as well. So uh, I'm not the best coder. So that's about the capability of my uh, my programming skills. So um, now with the benefit of um, video editing, just let me turn this off. I'll be right back with just one module because realistically, they're not going to be cheap. These things, they're not cheap. They never are. Um, so unlikely that many people are going to get three or even two of them. So most people are just going to have one. And one is all most people are used to back in the eight by eight days kind of thing. And I believe the uh, Brian's coming out with a new. Oh, I nearly forgot. Sorry. Uh, I did forgot to tell you that these are all awesome. you can actually available. It is also available to do. Uh, in different colors as well so there's a red a green and a blue one so there's the horizontal bars hey pretty impressed so take your choice now i'll go to one display i'll be right back all right we're back with just one display kind of thing uh taking them off can be a little bit um messy but i'm hoping that somebody with um like i'm no good with 3d printing stuff whatsoever but i'm hoping that somebody can come up with something really simple that like uh, maybe goes across two bars and has the holes in them for to put a secure the you know top and bottom secure some screws through or something like that or maybe hopefully find a maybe a, a double washer or something I don't know but maybe make a little plate kind of thing to help people so that it stops that see that kind of bending action that's going on kind of thing so hopefully we can get rid of that um, would be good but realistically these things aren't cheap. Um, they're going to be uh, on sale on the Tindy store, hopefully very shortly. The Tindy still has to approve it, but um, they'll be on sale. But yeah, I just want to show you how one looks. And of course, like I say, you can do the, um, I'll do some fancy editing here, but basically you'll be able to pick whether you go with red or the green. Yep. Blue, yep. Okay. So, uh, and again, with some fancy, well, let's uh, let's go to do fancy. So again, we'll do some fancy editing here. So you can take your choice of colors um, when you buy uh, whichever module you want, kind of thing. And then if you're you know really good with the um, programming, like I'm sure Brian is, uh, I'm sure you can do some pretty fancy stuff. So I hope you enjoyed the demo, and look forward to seeing the creations of the uh, community out there. Take care. <laughs> Yeah, right. You like that? I'll show you something else, actually. It's kind of pretty cool. Uh, how about some full color icons? There we go. It's a bit hard to see. I'll t maybe turn off some lights here. There we go. Might be a little bit hard, but uh, you can do some animations. Or how about a ghost? Uh, or a space invader, I should say. Moving around. The colors are a little bit difficult to see, but uh, that's... It's probably burning it out a little bit. I wonder if I can... Maybe I might have t made it too too bright. But anyway. So, yes, we now actually have a full RGB... Oh, there's a cherry. Can you see that? Can you make that out? Uh, yes, we have a full RGB 8x8 now. I hope you... Uh, I hope you didn't cotton onto it too quickly, and I hope I surprised you. Um, they are going to be available. They're actually available right now. Uh, I have kits all made up um, I'll show you the trickery uh, we might um, there's actually a couple of jumpers down there which you can set if you have three of them you can actually set which ports select which color of the 
RGB module. So, oh, by the way, you can also plug them in like this. So I think that makes it compatible with the old way of doing the um, 8x8, you know, because the things were reversed or something like that. So, But you can have it like this and have three of them stacked on top. So you can add vertical games like Tetris as well. So, um, But here's the... It's pretty tidy module, isn't it? I was very proud of myself there. And there's the... That's all it is. Four chips. Three of them... Actually, all four of them are Darlington... Um, Darlington gates or Darlington latches. So that's how we can, we're able to drive all colors uh, on this. So um, individually. So it's a pretty tight module. You can put in external power, extra external power. This jumper here controls if it takes power from internal or from the port. And uh, yeah, as I said, these things can be individually controlled so that uh, the three horizontal ports can you can pick which ports control which color kind of thing. But um, actually, I'll go to the zoom in, zoom, my little zoom in here. You might be able to see there. Oh, sorry for the shakiness. But um, there's the F9, F8 for the red, green, and blue. And the, the Y node is 05. So, and if you put those jumpers over to the right, then they the F9 also controls red. So that's how I had all three of them doing red. So, so I hope you enjoyed the demo. Um, these will be available up on the shop um, very, very shortly. They're actually in stock right now. I just had to make them active on the Tindy store. So I hope you enjoy. I'm looking forward to Brian uh, and everybody else developing um, software for it with the Space Invaders game and whatever, the maze, etc. in beautiful, full colour. Enjoy. <laughs>